Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5-Minute Presets. Let's do another creepy thing, but let's try to do it with just a sine wave. So let's start the countdown and file new preset. Let's go to the analog engine and let's select sine. Okay, so oh, let's see. Let's go from a delay to a distortion to change the harmonic structure here. Okay, let's go for another distortion. And I really like germanium. This one's kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. So let's go for an uh, for a delay here. Maybe one over eight. Okay, let's change the envelope just a little bit. Some unison might be cool. A little 2D tune there. Okay, let's change our filter to MS20. It's gonna bring this down over here. Drag our cutoff for our macro, maybe something kind of like that. And let's put cut right over here. Cut off. Oh my god, I can't even spell it right. Cut off. Here we go. Something like that. Give us some resonance because this filter is great with resonance. Res here. Maybe some noise might be kind of cool. Yeah, that might be kind of cool. A little low volume there. Okay, so now we should really EQ this thing. So let's go to FXB, let's go for an EQ. And we need some reverb for this as well. So let's go to our reverb. Let me back off a little bit of that distortion. And let's also high pass this a little bit here to cut off some of that low end. Maybe high pass 24 might be a little bit better. And maybe before we finish it with a reverb, maybe a chorus might be kind of cool for that as well. So let's drag this down here. Let's add the Juno 6 here. So since we ended that, let's give it a sub because I kind of like doing that. So turn the oscillator on, go from filter to the output to the direct out, drag this all the way down, use macro 3, slap this bad boy on there like that. Put sub here. And I think that's cool for our effects here. So let's map those macros here. So macro four, let's put those on the distortions as well. So this is going to be maybe 26, 25 is fine. This is 23. Let's drag this down here. Delay is going to be 24. So these are all pretty close in the ballpark. So that's nice. The delay or the chorus is going to be 12. So we do have to bring that down to about 12. And then the reverb 42. So let's apply that and increase this to 42. Make that effects here. Maybe a pitch variation with an envelope might be, or a LFO might be kind of cool. So LFO one, let's put this on the fine, bring this down something like that. Let's change this to free running. Let's go to a random LFO right over here and then smooth this out a little bit and increase the uh, speed. Maybe a little faster. We should have some keyboard tracking on this as well.
Okay, so time is up. So let's see how we did here. Let us turn up our volume a little bit here. And let's see what it sounds like with a nice, interesting little drum groove. kind of interesting okay so what do we call this thing Blood. Okay, that's kind of cool. Moon of Blood. If you want to get Moon of Blood, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Thank you for watching. Bye.